We are recording. All right, so Chastity is actually opening up tonight, so I'm gonna let her open up week three. All right, guys, so I am just so excited to talk to you guys about something that I am, whoa, I got big. I am so passionate about, okay? And the reason why I'm so passionate about it is because since he has hands down 110% changed my life. And I'm probably going to get emotional because I had a really rough day, but I just want you guys to know that if you don't believe that since he can change your life, you need to, and you need to find your passion in this business. And you just need to believe that this can change your life. Okay. So for those of you who don't really know me, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about why I joined or like where I was when I joined. So I joined back in July of 2015 on the $49 kit. And after tax and shipping, it was like, I don't know, 60 something dollars. And I think I had $72 in my bank account. I literally wasn't even sure if it was going to go through. I didn't even tell Chloe I was joining. I saw that she was in Las Vegas and they had just announced a free trip to Disney World. And I was like, it's time. I'm just going to do it. Like five, four, three, two, one, go. And I did it. And a lot of people don't know this, but it caused a lot of issues in my family at first because one of my cousins, Cell Sensi, um, and I'm from a military family, so I don't have a ton of family near me. I've never been close to family. I've only just been with my parents. And she had been recruiting me for about a year prior, but I had no idea that was what was even happening because of the way that she was like wording things to me. And like, it was just, I love her and we're okay now, but I wasn't even like aware that that's what she was doing because of the way that she was doing it, not downing her or anything. But the reason why I decided to join under Chloe is because I saw how successful Chloe was and I saw that she took it seriously. So I chose Chloe over blood because I knew that if I wanted to be successful, I needed to be following somebody who took this seriously. And she has since not been with Cincy, and then has come back. And it's been really eye-opening for me because it's very, very apparent that I would not be where I am today if I hadn't have made the good choice of who I joined under. And so I want you guys, as we are going through all of this training tonight, to really ask yourself if you are somebody that somebody should want to join under. If you are going to do the things that you should be doing to help people be successful. And I'm not saying that you need to know everything because you don't. There's days, I mean, I know that all four of us get questions all the time that we don't know the answers to, but we're solution driven and we're going to figure it out. It's okay to not know everything, but I just want you guys to know that it matters who you join under and it matters if you believe in this company. Okay. So tonight we are going to be talking about sponsoring as a lifestyle. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this. And, um, I just want you guys to know that we have all earned all of the incentives that have been offered since we've been joined. We have earned annual sales. We have earned annual mentor. We have, um, earned all the things. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because there's some validity in the things that we're saying. And if you want to be successful, you need to do what the successful people do. And I'm going to tell you right now that we, the four of us, we live sponsoring as a lifestyle. We are not worried about when it's an incentive. And that's when we're going to go start sponsoring people. We are sponsoring people in December after the shipping cutoff has happened, we are sponsoring people on the first day of an incentive and the last day of an incentive. We are sponsoring all the time and you have to sponsor as a lifestyle or you are never going to find success. And I'm not saying that to be ugly. I'm saying that because if you want to grow a big business, you have to continue to sponsor 
from the time you're an essential consultant to the time you're an SSD. Because guess what, guys? On the first of every single month, every single one of us start over as a certified consultant. Every single one of us start off at zero PRV, zero recruits, zero active frontline, zero GWV, and we have to work to get there. And I'm gonna be honest, that's one thing that I absolutely love about this business, because for those of you that don't know, I was with another direct sales, and I'm gonna be honest, the people that were higher up in that company, they could sit there, not work their business, and get paid off of everybody else's hard work and not have to do anything once they got to the top. And I don't think that's fair. And I don't think that's right. And I don't ever want anybody to feel like I'm, and I don't, I know that the girls don't want anybody to feel like we're sitting up here just making money off of you. Cause that's not why we do this. We do this to change people's lives. So sponsoring as a lifestyle, it is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Okay. I want you to talk to me in the chat box about what is a fear of yours when it comes to sponsoring. What is something that scares you? when it comes to that, because everybody is scared of things. Um, I want you to just talk about that. Okay, so, and then these are some questions that I came up with when it comes to sponsoring as a lifestyle, and I actually have top 10 sponsoring tips that is gonna be in the Google Drive that you guys can go through and read. I am not gonna read this document to you, but I am going to give you some reflection questions that I want you to really ask yourself, because if you're not self-reflecting as a business owner, you're not going to grow. You have to self-reflect and ask yourself if what you're doing is working. And there are so many questions and I can't like get to them quick enough or so many fears. And I want you guys to know that you are not alone. And we all have those same fears. Okay, so I want you to ask yourself this when you're thinking about those fears and when you're thinking about um, sponsoring, do people know that you want to grow your team? You may know it, but does everybody that you come in contact with know it? Ask yourself that. Do they know? And you can't just say, well, yeah, I mean, I told a couple people or I posted about it on Facebook last month. Bye. That is not letting people know that you want to join your team, that you want to grow your team. Ask yourself this, do you only post about Scentsy when you're happy or when you need to meet a goal? Because if that's what it is, I'm gonna promise you, people know that. Your sponsor knows that, your director knows that, your team members that are following you know that, your followers on social media know that. If you think that people don't know that it's getting close to the end of the month and direct sales people need to meet goals, you're wrong. If you think that they don't know that we're in an incentive, you're wrong. Unless they're living under a rock because they're watching. And I bet that you are not the only person that they're friends with on social media that does Sensi. So ask yourself about that. Ask yourself this, do the people that you're talking to about sponsoring or joining, do they know that you want to lead them? Or do they think that you're just going to sign them up and leave them high and dry? Do they know that you are gonna be there for them? Ask yourself this, are you saying no for someone before you even ask? Are you saying no for that person before you even ask, because that is not your decision. And you do not have that power. And if you are putting that power on yourself, I'm gonna tell you right now, sit your tail down because you don't get to decide that. You don't get to decide if somebody wants to join this business. And if you don't ask them, the answer is always no. So do not cross people off your list because you think they're going to say no. That's not fair. You are literally depriving them of an opportunity that could completely change their life. Don't be that person. Ask yourself this. Are you consistently, listen to that word, y'all consistently building relationships with these people. 
not just asking them to join, not just writing their name down, not just liking their photos, not just following up with them when you need an order. Do you know these people? Have you even invested any time in getting to know them? Because I'm gonna promise you, it mattered to one of my really good customers that lives in Colorado that has the coronavirus. It matters that I check in on her and that I care about her. And she's laying up in her bed self-isolated and just ordered $220 worth of Scentsy because I've been checking on her and because I'm building a relationship with her. Trust me, I've been asking her to join for the last year. She's gonna come eventually. We're gonna get her there, but it matters. So you need to ask yourself, all of these people that you want to join, are you building a relationship with them or are they just a number on a list? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself, and this one's gonna hit home for a whole lot of people. Are you being selfish with that PRV and not offering every single host to keep that party and join because you're worried about where your PRV is gonna come from. That's selfish and you need to stop doing it. And if that steps on your toes, you might need to self-reflect on it because I have, been, I have been there before not wanting to recruit my best customer. They end up being a director. They may end up being your next, it only takes one person, guys one person to join your team to completely change your business one and that could be that you that could be that one person just because they may be a good party host and they only host once every three months you don't know what they're going to do when they when they decide to join and they realize that they're really going to get paid back on that so ask yourself if you're being selfish with that, because I can promise you this, and Chloe has told me this for years, they can take care of their people better than you can because they know their people. They have relationships with those people. And don't not ask somebody to join because you want that PRV, okay? Because it will pay you back over and over and over and over and over again if they join your team and are successful, rather than you getting paid on that PRV one time. And if you are that strapped for PRV, you need to sit down and go back and build your, build your foundation of your business. Because if you don't have PRV, that's a problem. And that's a foundational thing. That's why people join Scentsy in the first place is because of sales. And I think people like forget that. And they forget that they have to continue to party and they have to continue to grow their network. Because I know that the, the four of us, every single one of us have literally recruited our best customers and our whole network. But we're not gonna sit here and say, well, there's nobody else to sponsor. No, we're gonna go find new people. We're not gonna make excuses and we're gonna get out of our house and go where the people are when there's no coronavirus. And I mean, we're gonna figure it out. So I've been there where it has been a struggle for PRV because I've I recruited all my best customers, but that was nobody's fault but your girls. And your girl has spent the last year and a half building her business. And right now I have almost, I have 3,900 3, and something PRV and I've sponsored three people. And I am not saying that to brag, I am saying that because I've worked my tail off consistently building my network. Nothing that I do is on accident, guys. And my word this year was intentional. And everything that I'm doing is intentional. So remember that, okay? Um, ask yourself, do people know you as the Scentsy lady? Or do they know you as the direct sales lady that did unique last week and now you're doing Rodan and Fields and maybe you're doing Scentsy, but they're not really sure because you, when they go to your social media, they don't know, they can't find your website. Uh, like that is literally one of my pet peeves. Literally, it makes me want to cut people. Not only because if I want to buy something from somebody, number one, I should never have to search for your website. I shouldn't have to search for it. It should be there very easily because I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like talking to people. So I'm not gonna text you and ask you for your website. 
I mean, at that point I'm shopping and I'm doing my me time. I don't want to have to share my conversation. And I mean, I shouldn't have to do that. What else really bothers me is, and I love that other Sensi consultants vote on my polls and vote on my stories. But when I go to your social media and I can't figure out if you're a consultant or not, and I'm about to send you join info, that is like yo problem. And that's embarrassing, not for me, but for you. Because if your about me doesn't say that you are the Scentsy lady, come on. Like, I don't, I don't really know what else to tell you. They should have no question that you are ride or die Scentsy. And if you're doing another direct sales, you need to pick today. Pray on it and in the morning, you have better have made a decision. And I'm not saying that to be ugly, but stop wasting other people's time. Stop wasting other people's time if you're not gonna be all in. Chloe had that conversation with me and here I am. And I'm not saying that to brag again. I picked the, and she told me, I'm gonna love you either way, but you need to pick because you can't be 100% at everything and you are never gonna find the success that you want by spreading yourself so thin. And she is 110% right. And that is also why I'm so passionate about it because I know without a shadow of a doubt that nobody takes you seriously if you're flip-flopping from companies and if you're not ride or die your company. And for the love of Jesus, if you are with Scentsy, please do not let me see you lighting a candle or going to Bath and Body Works and buying the body wash. Like, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all and act like I don't like Lush Bath Bombs and your girl was still using Lush Bath Bombs, but your girl wasn't posting about it. I can post about it now because we ain't got bath bombs, but I'm not posting about lush bath bombs when I have Scentsy bath bombs I can sell. So Jesus take the wheel, stop doing stuff like that. That is just not smart. Like, I don't know what else to say about that. Okay, now, anyway, people need to know that you're the Scentsy lady, okay? Ask yourself, are you positive on social media? Are you positive on social media or are you talking all the negative about politics or all the negative about coronavirus? Guys, we know the coronavirus is going on, but everybody is tired of people being negative. Nobody wants to see that you want to cut your husband because he did something stupid. Trust me, mine gets cut daily, but it's, I'm not posting about it on social media. I voice text those three and I'm like, look at what he just did. This is what he did. I asked him to fold papers and this is what he did but I'm not gonna go and rant about it on social media. Trust me, sometimes I really wanna give it to people. I really do. But you are a business owner and people are watching you. And I know that I've done it. If I've seen, if somebody posts something negative on social media, even if they're not a business owner, if you're with Scentsy, who I definitely unfriend you. It only takes once for me to see you on my feed and I will unfriend you. I ain't unfollowing you because your girl's getting close to 5,000 friend requests. So PS, if you friend requested me, I'm not accepting it. It's not because I'm being mean, just follow me because I got to save that for customers. Are you positive? Think about that, okay? Um, two more questions. Ask yourself, how many legitimate join conversations are you actually having? How many? And we are not going to say, we're not going to put you in a box and say, this is how many conversations that you need to have. But if you're not hearing no, you're not asking enough people. If you're not eventually having people join your team, you're not asking enough people. I'm going to be honest. It's a joke when I ask somebody how many join conversations they've had. And they said three, three, three. Like I'm, I'm very confused because if you really want to grow, and I know I'm probably stepping on so many toes guys, but let me tell you something. Sales is your income for right now. Sponsoring is your income forever and your income for the future. And that is how you are going to grow wealth. That is how you are going to grow everything that you've ever wanted. And if you don't believe that everything that you've ever wanted is on the other side of your fears and building this business, you need to 
pray about it and realize it's possible. I have so many dreams that are coming true this year because of that. And I know that these other ladies are like that too. Last question. And I want you to ask yourself this as an outsider looking at you, okay? Do people know that you have a passion for this business? When somebody asks you about Scentsy, do you light up? Are you just almost ready to like word vomit on them? I'm so guilty of this. I have to like woosaw. But I mean, I've gotten in legitimate like arguments with people that have said it's a pyramid scheme or people. And I mean, like legitimate, like my husband, it's been another, another guy, one of my husband's friends. He's literally like, you need to sit down and calm down. I'm like, no, getting real ratchet. But are you passionate about it? Because people can tell if you're all in or not. And I have so many people tell me that they can see me light up when I talk about Sensi, when I talk about the things that it's done for me and it's not fake and people can tell that. And if you're half in, people can realize that. So ask yourself those questions. There's all that document and these questions are in the Google Drive that you guys will have access to. And there's other tips in there as well, but I really want you to self-reflect on those 10 questions, okay? So, now that I have talked to you guys about that, um, it's a lifestyle every day, all day, not only when you are in an incentive period. I'm going to talk to you guys really quickly about the different joint options. Okay, so we're going to pretend that we are all brand new consultants. There are um, two ways to join at all times. Well, technically three. So the first way to join is the $99 kit. Okay, so if you don't know what is in the $99 kit, let me tell you a secret. Type in starter kits in the workstation. Okay, when you type in starter kit, it is gonna populate. You have to actually download the PDF. Once you download that PDF, all of the different starter kits are going to populate. Okay, and these change when the seasons change. So that's something to know. What I usually do at the beginning of every season, I download it to my computer, I print it out, I have it at my desk, I save it, I take a picture on my phone, I save it to an album. So nobody can ever ask, nobody ever has, I don't have to scramble for what's in the kit, okay? So that's the $99 kit, anybody can join on that kit, okay? Now, um, the reinstatement kit. I did a training on this page um, this week, one day earlier this week about reinstatements because I had a bunch of people asking me that. So this is where people get confused. Reinstatements are people that have previously been with Scentsy, okay? It doesn't matter if they joined back when Scentsy first became a thing or if they were a consultant last year. They can come back completely for free after they've been inactive for three months, okay? Um, they have the option to buy a reinstatement kit. It is $59 and you can find the contents of that kit in your workstation under starter kits, okay? The way they are not eligible for shooting star, for sensational start, for any of that stuff because they had that opportunity the very first time that they joined, okay? They don't get their website for free for three months or whatever. All of that was, you get it one time. And when they went inactive, they're coming back just as a reinstatement, okay? Now, reinstatements are still important because no matter what, you need to be growing your team and growing your front line. So I'm not saying that just because somebody's not brand new, you don't want them on your team because you do. Because you never know what was going on with somebody six months ago when they went inactive. They could come back and hit director like we just had Crystal hit director last month and she was a reinstatement hello, like you never know what somebody's going to come back and do. So don't um, discount that. And then as for reinstatements, they have to purchase that kit the month that they reinstate. So if they reinstate in April, they have to go and buy that kit in that month. If not, they're not going to be eligible for that. Okay. So let them know that that is something that they have to do. 
It may take overnight for it to populate. You're gonna go into your orders tab or they're gonna go into their orders tab. They're gonna type in reinstatement. It will populate and they can buy it, okay? Um, so that is how a reinstatement works. And I see people talking about the website. You need a website. Like there's no reason, especially with everything that's going on right now. Guys, I have, I've had, that's why I have so many mail outs because so many people are ordering online. That $10 that I'm paying is literally nothing compared to the amount of orders that I'm getting. Not to mention, if you don't have a website, nobody can join your team. You can't um, participate in flash sales if you don't have a website. There's lots of other reasons for you to invest in that. It's a business write-off. I leave it on my Sensi card. It's $10 that I never miss. Okay, so um, let me know if you have any other questions about reinstatements and I'll try and make sure that I get to that. Oh, other thing about, rein last thing about reinstatements before I get into my favorite part of sponsoring right now. Um, reinstatements, they do not have to come back under the person that they originally joined. They can join you. Um, they just have to make sure that they walk through the self-serve. If you look in the Google Drive, um, they, there is a self-serve reinstatement walkthrough. It literally shows you a screenshot of the exact steps that that person is going to see. So it's very, very simple, um, but make sure they don't just like rush through it and say they want their old sponsor because once they're back, they're back and they can't change it. So if you are the person working with them, make sure that it is very clear that they choose you as their sponsor. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Now, my favorite part, but I'm going to say something that's going to probably piss some people off. Stop asking on your team page what Ernicate is. Stop asking on your team page what Ernicate is. Okay, like I'm serious. And I'm saying that because, guys, we, don't, we didn't know what Ernicate was. It was brand new to us when it came out. And we had to figure it out and we had to learn. And I'm not, I, and I don't want to say that to and somebody on my team be like, oh my God, she doesn't want me to ask questions. I do, but I need you to be your own business owner and realize that you can type in these things in the workstation and it is going to be literally so black and white that there will not be any questions about how to do it and what it looks like. Not to mention, I have like two or three trainings on my YouTube channel for Ernicate, and I know some of these other ladies have done trainings on it. I actually am going to post a video, um, a screen share of an Ernicate that I did this week where I was able to, um, someone joined for $59, like straight $59, and I didn't have to give away any of my free and half off. You can do that but you have to train yourself and sort of play with it. So there are the FAQs and the walkthrough stuff on the, in the guide to growth. And it's also in the workstation. So earn a kit, what it is earning a kit. Let me go ahead and tell you, because I'm pretty sure that if all four of them haven't been turned in, I know that I have, um, you cannot say join, join for free. And I know you've seen me say it. You've probably seen lots of other SSDs say it and directors say it, and they are really cracking down on that. The way that you can say it is that you can join free of charge by using your hostess credits, or you can say um, you can join at a discounted price by hosting a party or yeah, um, Nicole Matthews said little to no out of pocket costs, but they are being very specific over the way that you word it. And it's very important that you're making it very clear that you're not buying somebody's kit because that is a no, no. And if you have done that, don't you do it again. Do not ever buy somebody's kit. They can earn it. You can gift them one by them still paying for it, but do not buy somebody's kit because that's just not good business practice. That's not what you need to do. And that's against compliance. Okay. And so Chloe said little to no out of pocket costs. Chuck, Chuck Thompson told me to say that directly above like, yeah, just 
And you can also go to the compliance section of our workstation at Sensi Standards Compliance. There is really, really good pictures in that training that says what you can say and then an example of what you can't say. So train yourself on that. And even me as an SSD, I go back and look at that example so I can make sure that I'm not saying it wrong because I don't wanna train people wrong and I don't wanna get turned in. Okay, so earn a kit. That is something that Sensi has offered to us that we asked for for a really long time. So, and I think that it's really, really, really underutilized because let's be honest guys, we always have a join special now. You don't need a $15 kit to say that you have a join special when somebody can literally join for nothing or they can join for $59 every single time you have a party to close. So if you are not offering kits to people every single time that you're closing a party, you're missing out on an opportunity every single $200 order, you have a kit. All that has to be left in that cart is a penny, one penny, and you can add a kit. It doesn't matter if they were the actual host or not. That's how I did it this past week. And they've said that that's okay. I didn't buy her kit. She paid $59. All I did was go and change the host. I put her as the host. It sent her the email, she paid $59. I still got my free and half off, everybody's happy, okay? So when it says flipping a party, so once you walk through this process, you have the option of giving that person the PRV or keeping it. Now, if it's that person's party, you give them the PRV. Like that shouldn't even be a question because those are the things that they worked for. But if it's your party and your customers, don't give them that PRV because then they're gonna have all that contact information. Technically, they are gonna be their customers and those are gonna be the people that they're following up with, right? So you don't wanna give them PRV that they didn't earn because you don't wanna set somebody up for you to baby them because they're joining a business. Whether they treat it as a hobby to feed their Sensi addiction, or they want to be the next superstar director. You don't want to create that habit of babying somebody and just giving it to them because that's just, that's not what you do. And you don't want them to feel like they have to do that. Because remember, when you're sponsoring somebody, you're leading them and showing them what we do here. So don't be doing something slimy and bringing slimy people into this Anchored Sense group because that's, we don't do that. And that's just not what we do. And that's not the culture that we created. We do things the right way. Um, so that is how you do that. Now with everything going on right now, um, since he has given us the ability to flip PWS orders during the same month. So any PWS orders that I have for April, which I have somebody doing it right now, they are counting in my PRV right now. But once she joins, I'm going to call some consultant support. They're going to move all of that PRV over. Guys, why haven't we all sponsored like 500 people this month? Because that is a game changer. Freaking game changer. Let me tell you what I'm doing right now. Um, everybody that's ordering that doesn't live here, that is ordering like $100 worth of stuff. I'm like, girl, you need a link. Let me, she's already going to have to pay shipping let me give you a link for you to send to some people for you to get some orders and like let's get, let you get paid off of these purchases because if you are not asking every single person if they want a referral link that's my new thing y'all it's like the thing of the world you get ten dollars off for signing up for home i got a free hello fresh week for referrals guys that's what we do that's what since he is you're getting 10 percent back on your purchases that's a referral right so think about the way that you're phrasing it and remember that there are people looking for this opportunity that are making zero dollars right now and they're not able to even collect unemployment or whatever. So don't sleep on the opportunity that we have right now. And that opportunity right now is there is no holds bar because it is a whole lot easier right now for you to 
get orders on your website and transfer them over. Now, if you're watching this after the coronavirus, I want you to read the host exclusive FAQ and read about what they say about PWS orders because typically they do not let us move those. It only is orders that are um, placed through your workstation. So that still works for everybody else in here, but it does just make it a little bit easier for us. Is there anything that I didn't mention or that you guys have any questions about with Ernicate? There is going to be tons of flyers and like signage and stuff like that in the Google Drive. I'm not going to waste your time showing you guys those things right now. I've told you about how you can word things. Um, and I feel like, I feel like that's it with Ernicate. Just know that we always have a join special. Every single person needs, every single host needs to be asked to join. Don't be selfish. And I love y'all. Yeah, somebody said they have a girl with a bag um, trying to earn or wanting to join. Yes, I mean, every single person before I close their party, I ask them if they want to join. And another thing that you can do is tell them how much they would be making back. Tell them what their commission would be. Okay. Anybody else? I think I'm good, Chloe. I'm, I, I think you're going after me, Chloe. Yeah. So fantastic. I mean, this could have been the chastity training and I would have been like here for it. That was dope. All right. So, um, Seriously, everything that she said about the kit options and especially about Erna Kit and her story, guys, I want to open this up and I'm not going to take too long because I really want Ray Ray and Katie to get their insight because I'm going to be really honest with y'all. You want to know how many people I've sponsored this month? That would be zero. And it's not because I've not been trying to sponsor and I'm going to explain to you guys what my method of attack is this month and what I'm doing and all of those things, but you're going to go through ups and downs in sponsoring. Every month is not going to be this fantastic month. And I can tell you guys, I've been doing Scentsy for eight years. Okay. So before any of y'all, right, obviously, and unless you reinstated and you joined in whatever before 2012, but I have recruited all of my customers. I have recruited everyone. And so a huge focus of mine going into 2020, my word was evolve. And little did I know, I was literally about to evolve in everything I did, in every system I did, in the way that I was going to build relationships with new customers. My customer um, line was really dry. I'd had the same people for years and years that had not joined, right? Because I'm the same as Chastity. I'm always offering um, even before Earn a Kid, I was always offering for them to join. No, don't let me take your party. Let's put these orders in under you. Let join. Like, let's let's get you signed up and let's join. And I love the fact that Chas said every month there's a join special. That's what the Earn a Kid is. So the first thing is you guys need to understand that Chastity opened this with recruiting as a lifestyle for a reason. This is not something that we do when there's a join special, this is not something that we do because we accidentally promoted because someone under you is a rock star. This is a big issue. I'm going to be honest. We have a lot of you guys that are about to promote this month, but your work ethic is not okay. And I want to help you understand that you should not, if you are a lead consultant or above, I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. If you're a lead consultant and above and you don't have your 500 in, you need to reevaluate and you need to go back to understanding how important sales are. Sales drives everything. Why are you guys promoting so much this month? Sales, sales, TWV and GWV is sales. So I want y'all to understand that when your customer, when your recruiting base goes dry, Okay, and that's what I'm going to lead into because that's kind of where I was at. I'm going to be 150% honest. Um, it was just dry. And I've, I've earned annual sales and annual mentor this year. And so I came into this month and I was like, I've really got to up my recruiting. So I started um, a network marketing class with Ray Ray that we pay for because I really wanted to get in on, okay, how can I meet people, but I'm at home. 
I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I'm going to understand how can I expand my network, connect with people and meet people at home. So again, I want to really encourage you guys to please follow us on Instagram. Look at the way that we post, look at what's in our story. It is intentional. There's a reason when you see our stories, a lot of our videos will have words. There's a reason. It's because 80% of the population has their sound off. So um, I'm opening it up that way to say, I haven't, or haven't sponsored anybody this month yet, but I will. But what I am doing is I'm growing a new customer base and I'm doing it rapidly. My sales are the highest they've ever been in eight years this month. They are $9,000. I don't know how that happened, but I, the only thing I can think of is because I've been very consistent. My customers know that they can trust me. They know I'm gonna deliver what I say I'm gonna deliver. And guess how many parties I've closed this month? That would be zero. Every order I've gotten is from online. Every order I've gotten is from customer follow-ups, which is why I spent nine and a half hours earlier this week creating a customer follow-up system for you guys. Why? Because I am trying to rebrand and re, just really re, like intentionalize the way that I follow up. I don't want to follow up for a checklist. I want to follow up and know exactly who I sent join info to. I want to follow up and know exactly how I'm treating that customer because the way, the expectation, the way that you treat that customer from day one and the experience you give them is going to make them see if you're real or fake. It's going to show them, is she going to deliver? It's going to show them, you know, is she who she says she is? And they're not joining Scentsy. They're joining you. They're joining something that they see in you that they want to be a part of. So quit saying you don't know how to post on Instagram. It's just, it's just a bunch of BS. You don't know how to do it and you don't know how to post in your story because you're simply not clicking buttons. You are all educated. You can open your story on Instagram and Facebook and you can click buttons and you can figure it out. I promise you, there's also something called Google and you can Google, but listen, I started following Ray Ray a year and a half ago intently and looking at how she posted. I was like, oh, she did a poll? How'd she do that? Click the little thing in the top right-hand corner. So I'm saying that because you don't have to think that you don't have customers or recruit potentials or all these things because you can't go out. It's just not true. And I hope that my numbers can show you that. Now, if you don't have a follow-up system, which we talked about last week, I highly recommend that you watch my training on my follow-up system on YouTube, on OG Boss Beds, or you do Maven. You have two excellent options. Now, before there wasn't a great pen and paper one, I'm gonna be honest, there wasn't. So now you have a pen and paper, and now you have a, an app. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick something that I am creating for y'all. And it is called the Climbing to a Recruit um, Mountain. And there's also going to be a chart that you guys can print out and fill in um, when it's done. I haven't perfected it yet, but I want you guys to think, you know, you are growing a garden, right? So right now, this is what Chloe's doing. Right now, I am, I'm planting new seeds. PRV, I'm planting new seeds. All that PRV to me, I hate having PRV that high, it kills me, but I know, you know what? I have a great foundation, I have a new follow-up system I created because I didn't like Maven, but guess what? Instead of like many people, instead of saying you can't invest the money into Maven or you didn't like it, I decided to come up with a solution. Leaders come up with solutions. Leaders don't sit back and say, oh, my kids are at home. Oh, this is happening. Oh, I can't recruit because of this. Guess what? Those people on social media, they wanna see your messy life. They want to see your kids. They want to see how you're incorporating Scentsy to make them want your job. They are looking, and guess what? They are bored. They are bored at home. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I have going on. And this first, so can y'all see the screen? Comment if y'all can see the screen. Or you can see it right here. Okay. So, the, um, these are two different, I'm going to show you the second form in a second, but both of these are already in the Google Drive for week three. And um, I have a fabulous friend and leader on this team who's um, a graphic designer and she helped me come up with these. And this is called Climbing to a Recruit. I'm visual. I know some people aren't, but guess what? I am. I don't like to read. I don't like to do all that stuff. I like quick visuals. So these are 11 steps from how do I figure out who in the heck to write on a dream team list, right? You know why I don't like the, the dream team list that we've always had? 
they don't make sense. Nothing needs to be on this one week, one month, one, no. It, we don't need a timeline. It needs to be every time you follow up, you're looking at your follow-up system, you're like, okay, I sent join info to her, which should be everybody. I need to follow up with them on that. We need to quit putting limits on how many people we are going to have join conversations with. It is a lifestyle. So number one, y'all can see down here, we are gonna teach you guys how to communicate with people. When you're communicating with somebody, that could be a prospect, meaning that they are a new customer, right? So you're gonna give them a great experience. You are going to do the things. You are going to sample to them. You are going to follow up on their order ships. You're gonna do all these things. Are they a VIP? Are they a host? Um, you know, are they in the service field? There's all these different ways that you can establish, okay, they would be a really, really great Sensi consultant. And when you think about how you should communicate with somebody being, that could be a potential recruit or a team member on, on your team, I want you to think about how you'd want somebody to talk to you. Number one, you'd want them to know you. So why people think this whole blind, let me just send somebody a message and they don't know me, it's not okay. You need to build a relationship. You need to build a rapport with them. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna categorize them. Like I just said, where are they? Are they brand new? Are they VIP? Are they a VIP or are they a host? And when you have the checklist that I'm gonna create, which I will do a training on, on this page and I will put it on YouTube, but you're gonna understand how all of these make sense in the chart that you're gonna have. Because you should be categorizing your dream team. I don't know why we haven't ever done that. So you should know, okay, if they're a VIP, I have a way better chance of recruiting them, baby. If they're new, I'm gonna to have to really give them a great experience. I need to get them hosting a party, man. If they're a host, okay, they already have a party. So that is what this chart is. They already have a party, earn a kit, host kit. Second thing, offer them free and half off. So you're communicating with them. You're following up with them. They've ordered off your website right now. When you follow up with them, especially if they're already a VIP, especially if they are obsessed with Sensi, okay, and we're not gonna give you like, these like scripts. I don't like scripts anymore. That's so 2018. You know why I don't like scripts? It's not you. And we're not doing that anymore. Okay. So when you build that relationship with them, you follow up with them with Maven or you use my um, follow up system or someone else's, then you are going to offer them, hey, did you know that you could get your stuff free and half off, girl? Did you know that? And I have uploaded into the Google Drive a picture that you guys can plug your photo, you can plug your info into, and it literally says on there, and I'm putting them in every order. It says, shouting out from the rooftops, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna post this in the Google Drive. Shouting out from the rooftops, thank you. Did you know you would have made 20% commission on this order? You would have gotten paid X amount. I also have my QR code on there. You can make QR codes. Guys, listen to me. I'm gonna teach you how to be a leader. Use Google. Use Google. Quit asking people how to make QR codes. Go on Google and say, free QR code maker. That's how I learned. I was making QR codes in 2012 when they weren't even cool. So I have my QR code on there and it goes to my join website. And the reason that I did this and I said, you would have gotten paid X amount is because when I follow up with them, I need to have a reason like to bring up, oh, hey, you know, you can't just say, hey, you should join. It makes a lot more sense if you have a customer and this is why on my follow-up system, I have next to their name on the customer mail outs, how much did they spend? That's important. If they're dropping $100, they're a top priority for me to recruit. There's a reason that I have that. So y'all can plug in how much they would have gotten paid. Y'all will have access to that to Google Drive. So you're gonna offer them a party. You're gonna offer them a personal shopping link like Chastity said. Then number three, hostess coach. Guys, coach your host. Set them up for success. All four of our channels, we all have information on partying, on hostess coaching, all of that. Don't ask your sponsor. Watch a video first. You wanna be a leader? Act like a leader. You wanna be a director? Act like a director. You wanna be a superstar director? Do things that superstar directors do. Be a self learner. You have got to stop going to your sponsor for every little thing when you decide that you wanna be a leader. And I'm saying that not to hurt your feelings, but guys, we're adults. You're an adult, you can do it. You have the resources. So make sure 
that you are setting that host up for success to hit 500, right? Why? They hit 500, not only is that kit free, but they get X, Y, and Z and half offs. There's more free product, blah, blah, blah. Number four, be intentional about your join conversation. So as they have that party in their hands, you're gonna drop hints to them. I tell my host if they ever have like on hand orders, hey, text me a picture of your first order. I don't even want you to do it. Text it to me, let me help you. Let me make sure it's filled out right, every host. Because I want them to also see, I wanna motivate them, get them excited, and I wanna show them, look, you're doing all the work. And listen to me, this chart was made by one of my new lead consultants, and this is the exact way she joined, the exact way. She told me when I sat down with her, doing her party, she is, did not need Scentsy, she owns restaurants with her family. She sat down and said, I'll never join, don't even worry about it, That's, uh -uh, I'm good. She had a home launch party. Like she hit sensational start level two. She's gonna be a star consultant possibly this month. So this is coming from someone who literally is a new consultant that has worked her way up to a leader. So dropping hints while they have that party is super important. Number five, depending on what party style they have, there's a ton out there right now you can do. You can do bingo, you can just do a Facebook Live. I did one last night for one of my girls' relaunch parties and we went on Zoom. guys. Make it fun. Quit saying you can't party. It's just not true. Um, and you're going to also seal the deal. Katie's going to talk about that tonight. Number six, they join. And then guess what? Seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11, we're going to talk about next week. So that is the first one. The second one I'm going to show you so you can get an idea. This is just based off of the $99 kit. Okay. So this is the $99 kit. It's not much different. Okay. But we wanted you to have two different forms. So you're going to communicate with them again. Guys, communicate. Build a relationship. You don't need a script. If you need a script to know how to be a good human, then just step back and watch some trainings. Watch some trainings. I know it's hard. I used to be a mega introvert, literally. Like, it's, I wish y'all understood. I don't, I did not like people. I still struggle with it. But, so, like, chat, me and Chastity are very similar, but I knew I always think, and I tell y'all this so many times, but please open your ears and listen to me. How would you want someone to follow up with you? That's it. That is it. Now, if you'd want somebody to be nasty or not follow up with you the right way or not have a follow-up system and not send you samples, you probably will struggle in building a loyal customer base. But think, how do I want someone to follow up with me? Number two, you're going to talk with them about the opportunity, like Chastity said, so I'm not going to get into that. Number three, you're going to kick coach. So you're not gonna host coach, you're gonna kit coach. Here's the different kits we have. I'm gonna make it very simple for you. If they're all about that 99, like Ray Ray had someone join, I think last night, I'm pretty sure she got obviously the 99. Kit coach, keep it simple, she'll talk about that. Number four, be intentional about your conversations. How can it bless them? Stalk them, listen to me, stalk them. Go on their Facebook, go on their gram, go in their stories, stalk them. Do they have kids? What's going on? Then they joined. 7 through 11 we'll talk about next week. So um, so I can go ahead and give this to Ray Ray. Um, the dream team list, I'm going to be posting when it's ready, the new one. And I can't wait to, to teach you guys how to use that system. And I will do a separate training on Guide to Growth and it will be on YouTube. So literally, y'all will take these beautiful things and you will be able to use the little checklist that I'm gonna create for y'all that's gonna help you create really, really good future business owners. And it's gonna really help you understand how to categorize them and how to do this the right way and so you're not so scared. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it to Ray Ray. All right, you're unmuted. Hey guys. Okay, so. First of all, Chastity and Chloe both like lit this whole training up. Um, a couple things that I just want to reiterate so you guys don't forget is the first thing that Chastity said was that literally gave me chills. Are you saying no for that person before you even ask them? That is the biggest thing. And I just wanted to reiterate that because I actually have that written down. You do not need to prejudge someone, okay? And that's what we do. It is, it's something that humans do. Like it's a natural thing to judge someone else, okay? But you have to be mindful 
and you have to realize when you're doing it, okay? Because you're gonna look at someone and you're gonna say, oh, she would never be interested in Sensi. And I say that because I've done it a million times and I promise you those people that you're prejudging are the ones that would rock the hell out of this business, hands down, okay? It's happened to me a million freaking times. So do not prejudge people. Now, what is a dream team list, okay? Obviously, we're revamping this whole dream team because we need to realize what a dream team is and how to go about it. But well, we already talked about categori categorizing the people, how to build the relationships with those certain categories of people, right? But at the end of the day, like, we should be offering this opportunity, Sensi, that's the opportunity, to everyone you know, because at the end of the day, just because you think they wouldn't be blessed by this business or they wouldn't be interested in this business doesn't mean that they're not. For example, I have recruited three people in the last three days, one every single day, okay? People I had zero clue were interested. Zero. Zero clue, okay? Zero. They came to me and, well, I simply offered it, but they came to me they're like, hey, I want to join. I had a girl yesterday. She was a, just for example, she did a party with me, okay? She, I met her. I never even knew who this girl was. I met her through another host party. That specific host I've been trying to get to join for probably a year now. And I'm going to still continue to ask her to join. And she knows it. I've straight up told her like, hey, I'm never going to stop asking you because when you do a party for me, your parties come back at $1,200 and you've only had it for three days, like you need to join. She's not for it, but you know what? Six months from now, she might end up joining. So this girl who just joined my team last night, she might even be on this training, Lakita. Um, she was like, hey, I wanna do a party. I was like, okay. So I gave her a bag. She shared it with her friends, family, brought it to me. Yesterday, I delivered it to her. Guess what I put in those orders? I put join information in every single person's order, okay? Handed it to her, y'all, an hour later after I handed her all of those orders, she texted me and said, hey, my family loves Cincy, I wanna join. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, I wanna join. I was like, okay, let's do it. She joined right there on the $99 kit, okay? So she's someone who I just didn't expect to want to join. You know, why, why did I not expect that? Because I was prejudging her. I was prejudging her, okay? It is, so, it is so easy to do. And at the end of the day, we have to take a step back and say, okay, am I prejudging her? You know, why would she not be interested? You know, we don't all just join to make money. Some people join for the trips. Some, pe some people join for the community. Some people join as a hobby. I joined as a hobbyist to begin with. I never, I never in a million years thought that I'd be sitting here doing Scentsy full time, left my nursing career to work, what, once a month as a nurse? Never expected that in a million freaking years. And here I am sitting in this chair doing this training on recruiting people. Guys, when I first joined, I never, I never wanted to recruit people. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we have to stop judging people. Yes, it is a human it's normal for humans to judge people, but at the end of the day, as a business owner, you need to realize when you are judging people, okay? So, when you think of a dream team, I want you to ask yourself, what kind of people do you want on your team, okay? Chloe's dream team list might, might look a little bit different than mine. Katie's dream team list might look a little bit different than mine, okay? At the end of the day, yes, I'm welcoming everyone to join my team. But I also am looking for specific people, okay? So for my instance, I'm looking for hard workers. Why? Because I'm a hard worker, okay? My dad is the most hardworking person I know in my entire life, my dad. And that's where I get my work ethic from, is from my father. So I want people who are hard workers. I also want people who put 120% into something when they start it, okay? Why? Because that's how I was, that's how I grew up. You know, my dad, my dad taught us, like, if you're going to do something, you need to do it 100%. You're not going to do some half-ass shit because when you do half-ass shit, then you have to redo it. And there's no point because you're going to end up putting way more energy, way more energy into it than if you would have just done it correct the first time. So 
Other types of people that I want on my team are positive people. If you guys know me, if you follow me on social media, I do not do negative Nancy, okay? Now, I'm not saying that negative people can't join Sensi and turn their life around. I'm not saying that because it can happen. But I am looking for positive people to join my team because I feed off of positive energy, okay? So ask yourself, what kind of people do you want to join your team? Do you want people who have gone through a rough life because you feel like you can help them with this journey? That is perfectly fine. I don't feel like I can help someone who has had a rough life on this journey because I can't relate, okay? So find people who you can relate to because at the end of the day, Chloe already said it, they're not joining Cincy, they're joining you. They're joining you. Okay, they relate to you, they trust you, and that's why they're coming to you. So ask yourself that. I want you to write down what kind of people you want to join your team, okay? The other thing. <laughs> okay, so the other thing. For Instagram, for example, okay? I just hit 2,000 followers, okay? What does that mean? That means that I potentially, potentially have 2,000 prospects to join my team. Granted, some of those people are Sensi consultants. Some of those people, you know, might not be interested in Sensi. But at the end of the day, those followers and your friends on social media, who we all know aren't really your friends, if they're your friends, but you don't have that full on relationship with them, they're still prospects for you to create and build that relationship with. Okay, that's what Cincy is. That's, that's what this business boils down to is relationships. Whether they're your customer, your teamy, your upline, we are a relationships business, okay? So I want you to build those relationships. Now, how do you build relationships with people on social media who you don't know? You engage with them. You look at their story. What are they posting about? Are they posting about their dogs outside? Because I can relate 100%. 110% to someone posting a picture of their dog. I'm going to, I'm going to comment and say, Hey, I love your dog. He is so cute. Mine is just like him. You should come over to my house and bring your dog. We can have a dog date. Okay. Are they posting about plants? I can, I can 110% relate to plants. Now, if someone posts about freaking cars, I'm going to tell my husband to go comment because my husband, if y'all know my husband, he has a serious issue with cars. I don't. Okay. Literally, I couldn't even tell you what Katie drives and I've been in her car like 12 times, if not more, okay? Like, I do not pay attention to stuff like that. So, people are going to join you, they're not joining Sensi, okay? So, build that relationship. All right. <laughs> okay, so, the other thing I wanted to say is, the grass is not always greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it, okay? So please write that down. The grass is greener where you water it, okay? So I see so many people just like, I don't know, jumping from one business to the other, from one business to the other. You have to find a passion and then you have to stick to it and you have to work at it. But you're gonna hit roadblocks, it's, it's inevitable. Okay, it's inevitable in life. You're gonna hit roadblocks with your relationships, with your business, with your full-time job, with, I don't know, any everything in life, you're gonna hit roadblocks. You have to water the grass where you are, okay? So build those relationships and the rest will come, okay? You have to offer the opportunity, you have to offer it. If you're not sharing it, then people don't know. And you know, Chastity said this earlier, if, if I go to your social media website, whatever that may be, and I have to search for your website and it's not easily accessible, there's a problem. And I say that because this has happened to me. And she said it perfectly. It's embarrassing, not for me, but for that person. I literally messaged a girl who has been following me on Instagram for however long she always engages with me um, messages me on Instagram, all of it. I messaged her and I offered her the opportunity. But before I messaged her, I made sure I went to her profile, nothing about Sensi, no pictures, no website, nothing in her bio. I offered her the opportunity and she said, oh, I'm already a consultant. 
Okay. Well, there's nothing that says you are. So, all right, cool. You know, what, what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? If you have nothing, literally zilch on your Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest or whatever social media platform you, you're using, that's a problem. And you need to realize that it's a problem, okay? Because if your people who are following don't know that you're a Sensi consultant, why would they buy from you? Why would you expect them to join your team? Why would you expect them to host a party with you? Because they don't know what you do, okay? Chloe said it earlier, people should know who you are. Maybe Chastity said it, I don't know who said it, but people should know who you are. Y'all, I went outside the other day, okay, two weeks ago. We were going riding on my husband side by side and um, some random guy who was outside, never met him in my life, never met him in my life. He said, hey, Scentsy lady, how you doing? I said, hey. That right there says something, okay? Never met this man in my life, didn't know his name, and he knew that I was the Scentsy lady, okay? So people need to know who you are. And at the end of the day, this, this business is all about building relationships, and that's why people are going to join you. Okay, that's why they're going to join you on this journey. They're going to watch you. They're going to see, oh, she loves Scentsy. If she loves Scentsy, why wouldn't I love Scentsy? Oh, if Rachel can earn a trip, why can't I earn a trip? I'm no different than anyone else. Literally, I'm no different than anyone else. None of us are no different than anyone else in the world. The only difference is we work hard, we're consistent, we show up. We're not perfect at this business. We just decide that we want something of our lives and we're going to show up and make it happen. At the end of the day, that's it. I have sponsored four people this month and I have almost 4,000 in PRV. Y'all, this is my best month yet, hands down, my best month yet. I have had one other month with 40, I think it was like 4,200 PRV and that was in the fall. You guys know the fall is like, that's normal in the fall, okay? But it's April and I'm freaking floored. And how did I get four? Recruits because I offered the freaking opportunity and I built those relationships with those people. Okay. At the end of the day, all you have to do is build the relationships and offer it. Because if you're not going to offer it, I'm going to offer it, or Chloe's going to offer it, or Katie's going to offer it, or Chastity's going to offer it. I promise you. And then when we do offer it, you're going to be sitting back and saying, man, I wish I would have spoke up and offered it. You know, that's, that's all that it is. So stop breathing. Stop prejudging people, okay? Look at the people who you want to join your team. Look at the people, when you're thinking about the people who you want to join your team, look at people who are already people persons. People, people. That may even make sense, okay? Look at, the, look at nurses. They deal with people all day long, y'all. Nurses deal with some crazy ass people, okay? Teachers, they deal with kids all day long, but they don't just deal with the kids, they deal with the mamas. And the daddies, okay? Look at people who are already in a sales position. Car salesmen, I don't know, there's a ton of salespeople out there. I couldn't even name them all to you. But look at the people, people who are already in that position, okay? They already love people because at the end of the day, if you're not willing to talk to people in this business, it's, it's not going to work out for you and you need to realize that, okay? If you're not willing to expand your horizons and to get out there and talk to people, it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna work for you. So, that's all I gotta say. At the end of the day, this is a people business. You have to offer the, offer the opportunity and you have to build a relationship. That's it. They're joining you and they're not joining Cincy. They're joining you, okay? There are like how many consultants worldwide? I couldn't even tell you, but they're joining you. They're choosing to join you, okay? I literally, okay, my example, my most recent recruit, I actually trained her at my nursing job. She's never ordered from me, never once, never. And I had mentioned to her how I do Scentsy full-time and um, she was like, oh, I love Scentsy. I actually need a new top for this warmer that broke. I was like, okay, well, I can definitely help you with that. I was like, well, um, who do you buy from? Because I know a ton of people who sell Scentsy. 
And she named like, she's like, well, I'm one of those that like to support a bunch of different people. I was like, okay, well, that's awesome. Never bought from me, um, which is perfectly fine. And she was like, well, you know what? I might want to join Cincy. I was like, really? She was like, yeah. She's like, but I would want to join under someone who takes it serious. And guess who she joined under? Me. That was a huge compliment to me that she decided to join under me. And I wasn't trying to steal her. I mean, she's free to join under whoever. I didn't even know the consultant she buys from. But at the end of the day, like people are gonna, people are going to join your team because they like, know, and trust you. Okay. So build your relationships, offer the opportunity. Guys, you're not gonna die if they say no. I promise. You're not gonna die if they say no. So I'm gonna hand it over to Katie because she's gonna teach us how to seal the deal. All right, Katie, so let me spotlight you. Sorry, I've just been a tad bit busy. I'm busy recruiting everybody right now. All right. All right, Kay Money, take it away. Chloe and Ray Ray. My muted, can y'all hear me? Okay, so I'm supposed to follow all that. That's a lot. That's a lot to follow right then. Okay, let's just take this away right here. Let's just take it away. Um, where do I even want to start? Sealing's deal. How to get them to join. Um, number one, if you're wanting to sponsor just so you can have a number, don't sponsor. And I say that with all the love of my heart. I think that that's my biggest pet peeve is when people look at it as numbers and not people. These are people's lives. When you go into sponsoring, when I think about having a sponsoring conversation, I think about how can this bless their life? How, if it's a best customer, it only makes sense for them to get paid off of their own purchases. It only makes sense for them to get free and half off when they close out their orders. How can this bless their life? So if you're looking at sponsoring so you can promote, so you can get to the next level, that's for the wrong reason. And I say that because if you sponsor for the right reason and you take an interest in people's lives and you want them to do well, you're gonna do well. And I think that this is this topic that I'm about that I'm about to talk about coaching them after you after you sponsor them. I'm very passionate about this because it blows my mind that people don't teach their new recruits because if they're successful, you're going to be successful. So it blows my mind that people don't train their people or do that. And I say that with all the love in my heart because my sponsor did not train me. I have not heard from my sponsor since the day I hit the join button. Literally, she doesn't do sense anymore, but I say that not out of bitterness because it made me a very, very independent, self-sufficient business owner because I had no clue what I was doing. I literally Googled everything. So if you're going into sponsor, I, I actually got a text message actually this afternoon. I don't even know what she sells and don't know who she is, but she literally messaged me and said, you should join my team. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Do not do that. These are people's lives. And when you build a relationship with people and you take care of people, whether that be a customer, whether that be a team member, whatever, if you take care of people and you put people first, the rest of everything is going to come full circle if you put people first. So that starts with, for me, it starts with my customers. I build a great relationship with my customers that they want to host with me because they trust me. And once they host with me and they fall in love with a the product, they want to get paid off of their own purchases. So start thinking about, like Ray Ray just literally just said, they're not, they can join Sensi anyway. They don't even have to go to, they can go to the Sensi website and pick somebody. They're joining you because of the person that you are. If I could go back, Chloe actually asked us this earlier. If I could go back to when I first started, when I first started sponsoring, if I knew then what I know now, it would be to be more comfortable with who I am as a person and not try to be like everybody else. 
that it's okay that I like memes and funny jokes and that I'm corny, that it's okay to shine that type of light into my business because people are attracted to that. So don't be like other people because you can do that, but you can't do that for so long. You cannot be like somebody else for so long. You can't be authentically you. They're drawn to you. They're going to join you because of the person that you are. So they're sealing the deal. They're joining a community. If you're having a, one thing I love to do, um, I have recruited people that have been in other direct sales and have had a bad taste in their mouth because they didn't have support from their upline or whatever. They didn't have training. I want them to see the community that they're coming into. That is why I share on social media when I do team mail, when I get team mail, when we do these trainings, when whatever, if we're shouting each other out on Facebook, I want them to see that they're joining a supportive community because sometimes y'all, people don't join Sensi for money. Not all people join for an income. Some people, they are lacking something in their personal life. I know for me, I joined for an income, but I also worked my ass off for a company for 10 years that literally when I got put on bed rest with my son, they didn't give a rat's ass about me. They didn't care. They were like, well, well, you can't work it short. We're sorry, but you still need to come into work. They don't care. For 10 years, I worked for a company that didn't care about me. So coming into Sensi and being recognized with charms, monthly charms, being recognized by your upline, being shouted out, don't take that for granted. No, no other company, corporate job that you go into that you get recognized for the work that you do. Sensi is one that, that we do. So people are watching the type of community. So share the heck out of it. Share the heck out of the community that we have on social media. Um, building relationships with them as people outside of Sensi. Do they have, Ray Ray just mentioned this. Do they have kids? Do they like dogs? Do they have plants? Do, I mean, people are getting a kick out of my stupid cat that I, I really do not like this cat. And I will willingly give him to anybody that will take him. But you will be surprised at the amount of people that I am having conversations with about this wild cat. People are relating to you. And once you can become comfortable with being authentically you and being the real you and not trying to be Chloe, not trying to be Ray Ray, not trying to be me, not trying to be Chastity, when you become comfortable with who you are, you can authentically sponsor and feel good about it. You don't ever want to guilt people into sponsoring. Don't go into every month saying, I want to sponsor four people, five people. That's great. But that's a number. Go into your month saying, I want to, and I'm going to name her name, I want to sponsor Jenny because she's my best customer because she spends $500 every two months with me. Start looking at it from a whole new perspective, a whole new perspective. And when you start thinking about people and how this business can bless them, it's going to change your whole sponsoring game. So you sponsored, they press joined, you added them to your team page, you did all that. How do you train them? I can kind of get a feel in the beginning of what, how a consultant's going to be when they first join. I can kind of like sense. So I don't get on the phone with them until they've done their first things first checklist and they have watched my YouTube videos. Chastity has YouTube videos, Ray Ray, Chloe, we all have startup videos. They're super short. They're like literally three to five minutes a piece. I do that because I don't want to get on the phone with them and talk about how to put open a party link. I don't want to spend 30 minutes going through that blinded on the phone, talking to them about something that they could literally watch a video on. I want to spend my time talking about a launch party, sensational start, shooting star, certified, the important things. I don't want to waste my time talking about things that they can literally look at a first things first checklist and get all those golden nuggets from. So when they join, whatever system you have, if you don't have one, get one in place. My new recruits get a personal email from me that has my Google Drive attached to it with a ton of golden nuggets. And it has my 10 videos attached. And it tells them your first homework assignments are announce that you're a consultant, go live with your kit. I want you to go ahead and set your launch party up ASAP and start sharing. 
So I already put that down there and I tell them, I set that expectation early on, do your first things first checklist, watch those videos. And when you have done, when you're done, text me so we can get on the phone so I can train you. You want to build self-sufficient business owners. You don't want to build leeches from the beginning because I'm telling you, I did that. I was like, oh girl, here's my phone number. You just text me anytime you need me, okay? And then get mad at 11 o'clock at night when they text me, ask me how to make felt samples. I mean, that's my fault. I kind of said you can kind of set the expectation early on. I didn't do it right. Now you will have people, and I've had this happen, they don't want to be trained. You beg them, like literally beg them, please, can I train you? Please, can I train you? They don't want to be trained. And sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that's a bad thing. Sometimes you have some that like they don't want to be trained and they figure it out and they rock it out. Others, they're kidnappers and they just want you to leave them alone. They just want their little testers and warmer and bar and whisk in their kit and they just literally don't want to be trained. So just leave them alone. But set them up for success. Setting them up for success with shooting star sensational start certified. And if you do that early, this is what I found with, with all the people I've sponsored. If I can get them certified, if they can get themselves certified quickly, I retain them longer. So if you have people join and it's taking them six months to get certified, don't be surprised if they go inactive and you just wasted a ton of time. You just wasted time building a relationship, recruiting them when you literally could have trained them when they joined, setting them up for success. And if they find success early, they're gonna, you're gonna retain them longer. They're gonna stay around longer. Don't just sponsor for a number because that number can quickly go away in four months. I'm telling you. It doesn't matter if you if you sponsor 10 people. I can tell you last join special. I sponsored 10 people. Guess what? Not one of the 10 are here. They're all inactive because they were kidnappers. They were kidnappers. So set them up for success. Tell them to go live with their kit. Why? If they go live with their kit, they're going to start going live frequently. It's going to set them up for success. People want to see live videos. They want to see real authenticity. Please. Tell them to set up a launch party. It literally doesn't even matter how they do it right now. They can do Facebook. You can do a Zoom. You can do when this Rona is gone. They can do a home party. Set them up. If they don't do a launch party, do you think they're going to do a home party? They're not going to. I'm going to tell you they're not going to. If they're not going to have their own family and friends come to their house, you think they're going to do a home party for somebody else? No. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. It ain't happening. You want them to get out of their comfort zone early on, early on, and setting that expectation. If I, if I know somebody's going to join before they join, sometimes you don't always know, I go ahead and tell them, okay, I want you to go ahead and watch these videos and give me a date for your launch party before you even press join. Or if you can wait, let me give you some testers so you can collect some orders first so we can get you started right. Set them up for success. If they are successful, you are successful. So train. there are a ton of resources out there for every single consultant to be successful if they had nothing but Sensi. The emails you get from Sensi, your first things first checklist, if they had nothing else, all the tools that are available without a sponsor, without these trainings, you can, you can be successful if you really wanna be successful. Passion's contagious. So, if you're not sponsoring, if you look back at your last six months and you haven't sponsored anybody, do people know you're passionate about this business? Because if you're not passionate, you're not gonna attract that. People are attracted to passionate. It's like a wildfire. It's like a wildfire. They are attracted to people that are passionate about this business. And Ray Ray said, nailed it right on the head right when she spoke. There are times when I go to a store and I have no clue who people are and they call me by my name. They're like, oh, you're the you're Katie, you're the Sensi girl. You're the Sensi And I have no clue who these people are. I have no clue. It's because they know I'm passionate about this business. And you might be called a nerd and all that stuff, but it's fine. They were like, you left nursing to go do what now? To sell someone at the doctor I worked for, I dropped off some Sensi yesterday out there. He said, you really, really left to sell some warmers, huh? You really, you really left to sell some wax. 
like I really did, sir. You might get made fun of, but it's passionate. It's passionate. And whether it's Cincy or anything in life, you need to be passionate about what you're doing. If you're not passionate, you're not going to stick with it for the long haul. So people are drawn to that. They're going to buy, host, and join under somebody there that they see that's passionate about their business. So ask yourself, are you consistent with being passionate about your business if you haven't sponsored? And are you pumped when you do sponsor? Are you ex When they join, do you build excitement up for them? Like, are you just like, oh, just holler at me if you need anything. I'm here if you need me. If you're not excited for them, my new girl that joined this morning, she literally joined at like 5.30 this morning. We've been texting all day. She already downloaded Amy and everything. Like, she's like, she's going to be a rock star. Like, she's asking the right questions. And she said, my family needs this. I'm the only one in my household working right now. She does not live around here. She like lives way yonder. Thank the Lord. Way yonder. Different time zone yonder. Way yonder. Um, and I she, she was telling me, she goes, girl, I already, had, I already sold some stuff at work. I'm, she's a nurse. And she was so excited. And you know what happened when I was talking to her? I got excited all over again like I was a brand new consultant. I was so excited because she was excited. Pump your new people up. Root them on. If they get a sale, that might not mean anything to you. That means, oh, that's just a sale. What, $10, one bar of wax. That's everything to them. Hype them up. Hype your new people up. Because if you can't be excited about the little things, you're damn sure not going to be excited about the big things. And you, you won't, if you're not excited about the little things in life, you're not going to be excited or appreciative over the big things in life. It spreads like wildfire. And your team, the people you sponsor are going to look at you. And if you're just like hanging on by your little 200 active every single month and you're dead every single month, <laughs> don't worry, really laughing at me. And you're dead. Nobody wants to. Y'all, I'm not talking, <laughs> I'm not talking bad about anybody, but we used to go to a church literally five minutes down the road, and this preacher talked in a monotone voice the entire time, and my husband fell asleep in the back pew on Easter Sunday because he was so mon <laughs> monotone. Yeah, you're lying. <laughs> yeah. You're lying. <laughs> it's too easy to look at James. So dead. Because he talked monotone voice. People all want to be, they want to be around excitement. So be excited about your business. Go live, go in your stories, be excited about your business. People are drawn to that. Hype your people up. Your new people, hype them up. Send them some confetti in the mail. That's what I did to this girl. And she opened it. She was like, girl, I'm so excited. But my husband was so mad. She, he was so mad when I opened that in my house because it was just glitter everywhere. I said, well, girl, you might as well get used to that because I can already tell you're going to be a rock star. You have the power to empower people. The day they hit join, you have the power to empower people. Whether you think it or not, you do. And I think so many people don't want to sponsor because you feel like you have to know everything and you don't. There's stuff I have no clue. People ask me some random stuff and I'm like, I'm gonna have to Google that later because I have no idea what she's talking about. No idea. You don't have to know everything. What you need to be is a decent human being, be empathetic, want the best for people and want people to be successful. And that's literally all you need to be to sponsor. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to know everything. So I think that's it. Pump them up though, guys. Literally, if you're not excited when somebody hits that join button, I am so excited when my email goes boop, boop. And I will tell James, I said, somebody just joined my team because that was a double beep email right then. Double beep. Somebody just joined. I'll be so excited. I'll be so like, who is this? And I'll be so excited. Pump them up. Pump them up. Pump them. Hey, then, I want to yeah. add to that. I want to add to that. So, guys, think about think about when you are on social media, okay? When you're going through Instagram stories, what Instagram stories catch your eye? It's the crazy ones, right? You just skip past all those boring people. People don't want boring. 
people want fun, they want crazy, they want memes, they want silly, okay? So think about that when you are posting and when you're showing who you are, because at the end of the day, like y'all, we are all fucking weird. Like, let's be real. Y'all, I do some weird, crazy crap at my house and my husband is steadily looking at me like, what are you, <laughs> what are you doing? I think people your business. Think that they want, they want to be perfect. And I can tell you when I'm not, I'm very much, if I could be without social media, I would delete it in a heartbeat. That's how much I hate social media. I'm just going to be real. I'm never, I'm not the social media type. Social media is something I've really had to learn. Facebook, Instagram stories, because it's, for me, it's not natural to share on social media. It's not something that I enjoy doing. I just don't. I'd much rather like dance in my kitchen and stuff than be on social media. I would delete it in a heartbeat. But this day and age, you have to be on it. And when I started this business, I used to think I had to be perfect. I would go in my, I would go and cover my little bumps up with my concealer before I would go live and try to fix this jacked up hair that there is literally no fixing to before I would go live and I would clean my house and I would make sure Aiden was asleep before I would even go live because I was so scared to death he would start crying. He was a year old when I started this. I was scared to death. Now, when we go live, it is like, excuse my French, it's a shit show. Like the cat's climbing, <laughs> climbing up the curtains, Aiden's running around <laughs> in his underwear. And what I found since I started being real my customer base has grown because they have they see me and my husband fight on live when he says a, a smell scent stinks and I look at him like are you is this for real you really don't like this like you're about to get punched because this is really good you're about to be punched punched punch in the face they love it they love it so stop trying to be perfect all the time I did that for a long time I was like how do people get these perfect pictures of all the oh, let me clean my house before I do this and let me do this Ray Ray I took some a video in my stories of me doing my washer and I knew it was dirty as soon as I posted I said I should have cleaned my washer before I did this video here <laughs> come Ray Ray you could have cleaned your washer before you did your video <laughs> like, I know. it's real life people want real life so stop trying to be perfect Stop trying to be perfect because you're going to waste an hour trying to get the picture, per perfect picture, perfect post. You're going to waste an hour of your life. Just don't care, really. Just stop caring. What it is, it is. I went live on my team page this morning and realized I didn't have a bra on halfway through. And I was like, I hope my nipples won't hold. Listen, <laughs> listen, I've done a training before and Shelby Cook has called me out on my live training on my Roots page saying, are you not wearing pants? And I was like, yes. <laughs> straight out called me out. But for real, y'all, people want to be able to relate to you and everyone's lives are messy. Everyone's lives are messy. We're all weird in our own way. Like we're all weird. Okay. If y'all don't follow Katie, like, okay, my favorite, my favorite thing to watch when Katie posts is when she is telling James memes and James is like not having it and she's dying laughing the whole time. It's, it's, it's how people relate to you. So, Love it. Chastity's kids are freaking crazy. Have you not seen Mason? And you have, have you not seen like MJ's, MJ's faces, the expression she makes? Like she's known for that. Chloe, she's known for Brody doing all these random dance moves. <laughs> Her husband being off the chain, like, it's, it's just, it's a vibe, and that's what your vibe is, that's, that's the thing, like, what is, what do people know you for, you know? Yeah. That's when they're going to come to you, and that's when they're going to relate to you, and that's when they're going to want to join your team, because they realize, like, you're not a picture-perfect person. They realize that you're a real person, that you have a life, you live a life, it's messy, it's weird. And their life is messy and weird in its own way. And that's why they want to join your team. If you, yeah. if you set the bar of perfection, nobody wants to join perfection. If you're setting a bar this high saying, okay, in order to do this, I have to be perfect. If somebody tells you I can never do what you do, you're doing it wrong. If somebody tells you I can never do what, you're do what you do, you're doing it wrong. 
And I say that because I've had people tell me that and I'm like, because I'm making this look like I have to be perfect 24 seven. Just stop caring really. Just yeah, and I know Chastity wants to say something at the end, but the last thing that I want to say for you guys is, you know, you just got to do it. And if anybody follows me on Instagram, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'll say that sometimes in my videos. I drop things in my videos. I'm very, yes, last night, if you saw any of my story, my house was clean. You know why? I did a Facebook launch party for somebody. And right after that, you bet your butt, your girl is going to show the warmers to her customer base because we're not playing that game. Mm -hmm. So yes, my house was clean. It was staged, but you know, they want to see real and you know, some of y'all do follow the Culture Effect podcast. And one of the first episodes that we had, Justin, my husband, said people want real. They're craving it. And the problem with, with the Instagram world today, and many leaders, it kills me, is that they're trying so hard to be someone they're not. And then what happens is, is that a lot of you guys look at that and you think, oh, I want to be like this person or this person. Well, I want to see you. And, it, and I want to see your story and I want to see what it looks like whenever you're doing the things and whenever it gets messy and crazy and whatever. And that's what people want. And so listen to me, every time you say, I don't know how to work Instagram, so I'm not using it. You're hurting your business. Every time you think you don't have a story to tell, you're hurting your business. Every time you give a damn about that person who talks crap about your business, you're hurting your future. If I listen to the people that said my business wouldn't be successful, or even this will go on YouTube, so I won't get into detail, or even other fellow Cincy people who said I wouldn't be successful, I wouldn't be a director, I wouldn't do these things, would we be here? Would y'all be here? No, you'd probably be under somebody else. So I'm here to say you, your weird ways, all the things that make you, you are going to attract people to join what you have. And the more that you surround yourself around, and you don't have to be like in person with somebody, surrounding yourself means you're on this training, right? All four of us are very positive, glass half full people. We're not, we don't always feel that way, but we'll be that way. So when you surround yourself around that energy, your, your mind is going to shift into this. You know what? I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to earn this energy and I'm going to do all these things. And I don't care what anybody says. I'm not worried about them because I'm worried about my family and I'm worried about my future. And what's going to happen is those people that doubted you, like Chastity was saying, and, and Katie, her family never supported her. And I know Ray Ray also like, I mean, her and Katie live right down the road from each other. So you know, you are going to see that once you believe in yourself, even if you don't believe it, listen to me, if you don't believe in yourself, I want you to start doing things until you believe it. I didn't know what I was doing on Instagram for years. I just did it. I did things and I didn't care. I didn't care. And guess what? I've been turned in to Cincy by leaders who are probably going to watch this video because deep down they want to do what successful people do, but they can't stand to watch people win. Do it anyways. Quit caring about what they think. They don't pay your freaking bills. So Chastity is going to close it out and we're done. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so thank y'all for tuning in to all the things. I hope that you guys got so many gold nuggets because I know that while I was doing my follow-up, um, I got so many things and every single one of them, every time I hear them train, I always take something else away from it. And I saw somebody else comment um, about this podcast and guys, you need to remember who you are because you were created for greatness. You were created for greatness. And I want you guys to remember that people are joining you and I'm just going to end it with this. You need to speak life into your life. The things that you say to yourself and the things that you are speaking into existence are going to come true. So whether you say you're going to be successful or whether you say you're not, I 110% believe that that will happen. You need to put whatever it is you want out into the universe and claim it. And I'm just going to end it with this. Trent Shelton said it today. If you are too embarrassed to try, then you are too afraid to be successful, period.
If you are too embarrassed to try, then you are too afraid to be successful because every single one of us started as an essential consultant. And every single one of you guys can do the hard things and create a business that can change your and your family's life. And I love y'all. And that's all I have to say so I don't cry. So I started.